All right, hey guys, Diamond here. And today I've got a anti-cheat plugin for you guys, which I don't know, it has been requested quite a lot really because the main problem with servers nowadays are of course hackers, which really aren't fun at all when you have a quite a large server and you don't want other players to be annoyed by hackers. And to be honest, frankly, I'm not a fan either. So here's a perfect anti-cheat for you guys. And of course, the developer was kind enough to give one free copy away. So if you guys do want to join, go ahead into my Discord and you can have a chance to win a copy of Fiona because legit, this anti-cheat is the best I've seen out there. It's lightweight, will not make your server heavy at all. And the way it checks everything for kill aura or legit any type of weird movements or miscellaneous, anything really, it works out great really do recommend and i seen it and of course if you guys do want to test out there's the test server in the description down below that you guys can also check out because it is the developer as well he does have a test server if you guys want to check it out and everything it's right there so of course i'm gonna have to use a hack client don't recommend don't suggest this is all right so pretty much i am gonna have to use a hack client so i have it right here now it does check for it things that are gonna happen of course such as kill aura, prove the direction, invalid hits, angle, position, the reach such as counter, use entities, criticals, if fastballs, aim pattern, impossible pitch, difference, test, meme, and regen. So it does all that, it does a lot more. I'm just going off what the basics is and as you can see here I have been checked before because I of course I'm hacking. Here you guys can see here I have my hack client on. I I'm sorry if you guys cringe the way I use it. I'm not really a hacker type. I don't really not use this stuff as much as other people, but there you go. So for now example, I have reach. So I'm just gonna put that all the way to a nine and there is no band command for now. If you want, you can go into config and change that yourself if you want to, but I removed it completely because I don't wanna get banned from my own server because I am of course testing everything out. So I have a nine block reach right now. So if I go ahead and turn on kill aura, as you can see here, there you go. So as you can, I'm going to get checked 30 times 30 and pretty much it will tell me as well. Player dimer XD type B timer 3.0, 3.36, lag zero and then my ping and VL. Of course you can teleport to the player as well. So this is great for staff. Pretty much as you can see here, I will teleport to myself, which is kind of weird, but as you can see here, it is working. So nine block reach i can go ahead and change it it will work for pretty much any type of reach this works a lot better than aac spartan any one of these i really do recommend fiona all right so let me go ahead and change my kill aura to a nice i also put it to no swing so if i go ahead and turn my kill aura as you can see here i'm getting filled with no slowdown timer and it pretty much shows all the reason auto block type c auto block auto block and then it, it tells me pretty much all the information i really need to know about the player that is hacking on the server i pretty much have no swing whatsoever right now as you can see right there and it's pretty much it is amazing the way it works so it will inform you when the player is hacking and give you pretty much the time as well and i kind of prefer that over just instantly kill, kicking someone even though they weren't hacking because I pretty much hate that when it just kicks a random player. I'm pointing at you, Hypixel, for kicking a wrong player when they're completely not hacking, because I've been for that before. And overall, it, this works out great for it. So I'm gonna go ahead and remove extended reach and just keep killer on. So as you know, swing, it will tell me the timer, and I can go ahead and turn that off and just keep, and pretty much just keep criticals on for now so you can actually see the criticals. And there are a few commands if you guys wanna check them out as well, such as, let's just remove that real quick, such as, Fiona, and then pretty much if you click enter, I'll just sh show you the basics, such as toggle bannable checks. So right here, you can pretty much go ahead combat, you can toggle on and off. So pretty much reach, kill aura, criticals, fastball, regeneration, aim pattern. Pretty much these are toggleable if you want, and you can go back, don't mind these, it's just from the hack line itself. Movement as well, so we have velocity, and overall miscellaneous such as exploit, timer, so I can go ahead and turn that one off, it won't tell me anymore, patterns, and ping. There's also, you can toggle checks if you want, so, so these are bannable checks, and then these are checks that are pretty much if you want them to show up or not. So for example, timer, I can turn off, and if I go into kill aura, and as you can see here, I'm not having any more checks whatsoever right there. So it is toggleable on and off if you want. That really depends on you, of course. So I'm gonna go ahead and do Fiona again. And I'm gonna go for, re you can pretty much reload information such as you're currently using Fiona by Funk Monkey, which I love the name, and pretty much shift to receive invite for, to the Discord. Wow, because you know, if you have any issues, you can go ahead into Discord and get them solved straight away. And then you can reload Fiona and reset violations. So left click to reset all players. And then there we go, I just reset mine. 
So if I go ahead and do Fiona, or if I do the command following the head, I send in my name at the end. If I click enter, it's to see no checks because I completely reset them. So if I go ahead and just start, for example, Killor again, I'm just gonna go ahead and turn that on. If I check my name once more, as you can see here, no slowdown, and it will show the current level that I'm on, which is amazing. Love it. It's so clean and really a lot better. And it just comes fully ready for you to use. That's amazing. It's not like AAC where you have to keep togging things on and off to get the right point, but you usually have to use another plugin as well because that's not doing exactly what you want. And overall, this one just comes in a full package that you need. And then you can also do Fiona Bannable Kill Aura. Kill Aura Bannable State has been set to false. You can do that everything through here as well if you want. It's really that simple. And then you can do Fiona Delay. So enable is set to false. So I'm just gonna go ahead and enable true. And then I'm gonna go for like, so pretty much it's in milliseconds, I believe. And I can just change that to as many as I want. So it will show a lot less depending how much you actually want to see it on the server because it really just depends on you. But I'm gonna go ahead and change it just back to hundred like that. And what I should be seeing is it a lot more, which damn, that's a lot more. Okay, so I'm gonna put it 500. So it's really up to you. I believe it is milliseconds because that's what it's written right there. If I, I could be completely wrong because of it. But yeah, I can also do Fiona whitelist add and then for example, my name. So pretty much I'll be ignored 100%. Like no, Fiona will not try to detect if I'm using any hack client whatsoever. And I do have to remember, you do need a second plugin, which is protocol lib. Pretty much every hack client needs it. Protocol lib works perfectly with it. Just get the correct version for you. It's also in the spigot page. If you want to check it out, just get the right version. You should be good. As you can see here, this also goes for Fastbow as well. It will tell you, of course, I'm using Fastbow and then the amount of speed, so pretty much every zero seconds, and my ping, my VL, and pretty much just click teleport again if you really want to check them out. Of course, there is a bungee mode as well. You guys can go ahead and download the secondary plugin, which is completely free, and you can just pretty much enable pretty much enabled bungee mode if you want to check out there on different pretty much on a different server we have auto clicker auto potion pretty much all these he does detect which is amazing and even scaffold as you can see even with flight it works so currently i should not be flying and i was kicked from the server this is of course server related not the plugin because i have not enabled flight whatsoever i'm also going to enable fast eat auto eat auto armor auto regeneration auto soup auto potion auto rod aimbot as you can see, our regeneration is also happening because I should not be regening right now. Yeah, as, as you can see. And I also have much auto rod and everything like that. And auto aimbot. So it's giving me every single thing that I am doing, which is perfect, which a hack client should be doing. And like I said, you don't have to configure anything. Now, if a hack client, I can show you pretty much all of them, but we're just going to be here all day. Now, the developer, of course, always does update the plugin. When I was contacting him, he did update the plugin as well, which is amazing. You can always, of course, check out the, his own server if you want to see and test out your own hack client as well to see how well it performs and does because it works out great. I'm going to be honest. I actually had quite a bit of fun testing it out there overall. Now, I'm also going to go for the config and you guys can see some more additional features through in there. All right. So as you can see right in here, we have all the config as well. So, for example, you got config and then a message which you can change. It's really up to you. Pretty much all the prefixes and everything how it works violations informations and yeah so it's pretty simple like that and we can also go into the logs which is currently only mine and inform every single thing that has happened to me my ping the flight reason and overall etc etc i'm gonna go ahead and open that with notepad plus plus because it is a bit more organized of course use notepad plus plus because it's a lot better it'll tell me the limit the the TPS, the ping, everything that I went through right there and everything through each player. So you can check out old logs from them, which is perfectly nice. And I love that feature. And you can also go ahead and try out the config. Pretty much here you can disable, enable whatever you want, but you can also do that for in-game, which is amazing. So you don't have to go through everything. And there's also the gold, which I love. I didn't even know about that feature until I actually talked to the developer. And then there's alerts and in a millisecond, you actually change if you want. So it was a thousand, didn't know that. And then you can enable true or false if you actually want alerts. And then, then you have bungee mode, of course, you do need a secondary plugin to enable or disable it. And then you have gold, so true or false up to you. And then punish command, this will, exact, this will be the commands in case you're running a different band plugin. You can go ahead and run the plugin. You can go ahead and run the plugin command right here, which is, I'm gonna, uh, this is like legit everything you really need to start and add your anti cheat to your servers to make sure your players are having a well good experience and no issues with hackers whatsoever. 
pretty much it's so simple protocol lib async true or false debug mode test mode and pretty much that's everything you really need to know right there and then pro fix glitch true or false and everything here is just everything you can just change here you can change a few like max violations up to 200 before they actually get kicked or anything like that and like i said it's really up to you guys just don't become the next mindful. So there you go, guys. That was the whole plugin right there. Hope you guys have enjoyed. If you guys have, make sure to smack that like button down below. If you guys wish to see another one, make sure to do it via comments. And overall, yeah. I want to thank so much to developer for allowing me to do this video. And overall, thank you so much. I actually had quite a bit of fun. Cheers.